In this tutorial, you will be using axes and inferences to draw a cube in 3D space. To begin, click the rectangle command. Click to start at the origin, then move up in space, and click to set the rectangle. Note that you can set the rectangle to any dimensions you want, simply by typing them in. Here, I'm going to type 7 feet, comma, 8 feet, to make a 7 foot by 8 foot rectangle. Now, move the cursor in the 3D space and click the pencil tool. Start at the origin and move up in the blue axis direction until the on axis box appears. Click to set the first line, then move in the green direction. Now, it's hard to judge in 3D space exactly where to stop the line. So to fix this, Move over and pause, but don't click on the next point. Simply follow the dotted line up until it meets the green line, and click. Follow the blue line down, and you have your first face of the next cube. Now click on the next endpoint, and use the same technique. Hover over the next point, move up until the red line meets the dotted line, click, then follow the blue line back down. Now this next point is going to be a little tricky. We're going to change the view a little bit and click on the next point. Since there are still a lot of references around this point, it may be difficult to judge exactly which one we want. So we move back until we have a line in the green direction. I'm going to hold down shift, which will activate inference locking. This means that no matter where I move the cursor, it will always draw a line in the green direction. Now, I move it over the last point in the box, which tells the program, make a line in the green direction, and make it so it will intersect with this point. So, I click the line, and move down, and set the next line. Finally, I move from one point, to the first point and close the box. Note that you now have a full cube viewable from any side. 